Welcome back to Farm Sim, everyone, and we're doing our, another video on the Maze Plus 1.5 update. Possibly the last one, unless people have things that they would like covered that I haven't covered, and then drop me a comment below, and we'll see if we can make a video on it. Today we're going to look at editing the Animal Editions XML file so that you can customize the food that you feed your animals. I'm going to cover sheep and simplifying what they eat. Um, horses and adding back in the horse silage and then playing around with adding things to the cows feed um, changing the TMR around so that you can feed them something different I found an old Tom Pemberton video uh, from about three years ago which covers how they feed their cows I think it's changed now but I'm going to use that as a way to set up a TMR mix with the mixer and also looking at changing the base feed for the cows um, so if we jump in so for example, we've got some sheep at the moment and they have four feed bars, which uh, all need different things. Um, when I run sheep on Homeworld, I have one feed bar and I just feed them grass products because it's easy. It just keeps a bit of the simplicity of keeping sheep uh, back from base game seasons. Uh, horses, um, as I mentioned in the video which covered horse feeding, horse silage is not in there, neither is horse grass. Um, that's to encourage you to go into the XML and add them in. So I'll show you how to do that. And then for cows, um, we're going to do a TMR, change to how you mix the TMR. And then change things completely. Um, the alien pool mentioned something to me called hay milk. And I spent about 30 seconds Googling. Um, and they are cows that are not fed any fermented products. So no silage at all. And um, they're fed grasses, herbs, um, some grains, I think, and minerals. So what we're going to do is we're going to set something up where um, we have a bar for hay, probably a bar for clover hay, and then I think a bar for mineral, um, so from the mineral palettes. And you see if we can get that to work because it's kind of interesting and something different. So, yeah, first one we're going to do is the sheep. Um, so we're going to jump out of the game and we're going to go into our mods folder. So to do this, you're going to need to close the game completely because otherwise that locks the mods folder. And I'm now in my mods folder, which is in Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2019 Mods. Um, you're probably thinking, wow, you don't have many mods. Um, as is recommended, um, certainly by the farming agency, you want a mods folder for each individual map that you're running because having multiple maps in a folder can cause issues with some of the things certainly to do with maze plus and other things as well if they have random scripts in and so this is the mods folder that i'm using for testing maze plus and just to keep it really simple and where we want to go is into animal food additions um you probably want to have something like 7zip installed and i use notepad plus plus as well if we right click on the animal food additions and go to open archive uh, and then this showing up on screen cool and then if we double click on animal food additions that'll open up notepad plus plus and the animal food additions file uh, we're just going to run through this a little bit so you become a bit familiar with it so each animal has a block in this food group section um, and then for each animal, you have uh, a line for each of the fill bars. So for cows, you've got four. Um, you've got the amount of their feed that you fill it with. So um, the animal has an amount of food that it needs. Um, and for each of these, that is what this number is. And then the eat weight is the rate they consume the different bars. And then the fill types are the different fill types that you can use to fill the bar. Um, so, for example, in the forage section, we've got maize silage, grass silage, old crop silage, and bee pox silage. I mean, that's repeated for each of the different animals. You can see for chickens, you only have three. I'm going to show you in a minute how to change that for sheep so that you only have one. Um, and then we have food mixtures. Um, these are how the type of feed mixture, so forage is TMR, how that is spread across the different bars. So for TMR, it covers all four bars. It puts more priority into filling the silage bar, but it fills the rest as well. Um, power food is the palette of power food that you can buy as part of the updates to Maze Plus. 
and you can see that covers your clover silage or acts as clover silage and grass 50 50 so that will fill the bars that need clover silage and grass something i haven't tested but i want to play with is if you fed cow power food can you feed that to sheep or does it need to have sheep as the animal type we may do that in a separate video i have a few random things i want to try out we've got the horse feed which covers grass and oats mostly grass um if you look up in the uh in the horse section they only eat a small amount of oats and quite a lot of grass and hay um, we've got the two types of pig food so that is the base game pig food first and then the new pig food pallets that have been added by the farming agency and the sheep food where it covers all three we then go down to uh, the mixer wagon section and this is what controls tmr and it's a fairly huge list and we're going to have a look at playing around with that later on so first thing we're going to tackle is changing the sheep so that they just have one feed bar. So I'm going to do is delete the bottom three, change the product weight to 1.0 and the eat weight to 1.0. I actually didn't want to delete that bar, but oh well. And we're going to put in here what we want them to be able to eat. So we want them to be able to eat. So grass fermented is grass silage. Grass windrow is grass. Dry grass windrow is hay. So that means we can feed our sheep grass, hay, and silage basically, and that will completely fill their feed bar. If we save this, close it, and select update archive, and then we will reload the game and I will see you back there. We're back in the game and we'll just have a quick look in the Seasons Animal menu. And we can now see we have one bar for the feed which has grass silage, grass and hay in it. So if you're playing with Seasons um, and you've got sheep, during the, uh, the time where there's grass available, you wouldn't need to feed them at all. This is a lot like base game i guess except you would need to feed them because they can't graze um, but then we can bring over a bale of grass silage or a bale of hay and that will fill a big chunk of their feed bar we'll go and get the bale of hay that we have outside it's real it's one of the filters isn't in front of my microphone hopefully this sounds as okay as my videos normally sound We'll drop that down and their bar is full so that means feeding sheep is now as simple as it was before obviously you could have left you know two or three bars in there if you wanted if you wanted to maybe feed them some root crops still or something else so that's tweaking sheep so that you just have the one feed bar it's how i run them on homeworld um, just for simplicity Next, we're going to sort out horses, um, and I think we'll start by looking back in the XML about what we need to add in to add back the horse silage. So actually, we're not back in the XML yet. We'll just have a quick reminder of all the horses. Um, at the moment, we've got oats and the beet chip feed, grass and grass silage, hay and alfalfa hay. Obviously, you might expect to see horse silage and horse hay in these bars was taken out just to encourage you to go and look in the XML and I'm going to show you now how to do that. So we're back in the Animal Food Editions XML. Um, but the horses are here. If you're not sure what to call the different fruit types, what I would suggest you do is um, go into the map that you're playing and assuming it's a horse extension maze plus edition of the map if you open up the map fill types xml this gives you a list of all the different fill types that are available and it will cover most of the things that you might want to use and so if we're looking for horse hay we want um, 
dry horse grass windrow. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go over to uh, our Animal Food Editions XML and we'll go down to the hay line, which is here. And we'll just copy that in. And then for the uh, the horse silage, we're looking for something that's like horse grass fermented. So if we scroll down, uh, we find horse grass, horse grass windrow, semi dry horse grass windrow, and horse grass fermented. So if we copy that and add it in to our animal food additions XML file in the uh, silage line there we go and then if we save that and close it and update the archive and then we'll reload the game and we'll just take a look check that that's worked we're back over in the horse pen and we're in the manitou if you watched my video which covered feeding horses we were in this again and hopefully there's room actually in so the horses have grazed because um they can be fed grass but thankfully they haven't filled up the bar and we have some horse silage over here you can buy this in the store as bales or you can make it yourself from horse grass that's not horse silage grass silage so i'm guessing it's this bale over here yeah horse silage so we'll just drop that in the feed trough probably won't take all of it And there we go, the horse silage bar is full. And then I think we have a bale of horse hay over here as well. excellent driving and there we go um, so that's filled up most of theirs and you know, if you're playing on a map and you've got horses with maize plus and you've got the problem of making horse silage and horse hay or you're planning to it's fairly simple to add it back in um, we're now going to move over to for me the fun bit and we're going to have a look at playing with stuff with the cows but i think the first thing we'll do is jump into the animal food editions xml look at playing with how you set up a TMR uh, or change the ingredients of your total mix ration and then we'll do one where we change completely what we're going to feed the cows so we'll save the game and quit again and I'll see you back in the XML in one second yeah again we're back in the animal food editions XML Go back to the start if you can't remember how to open that up. I'm going to scroll down to the bit that covers maize plus. So the recipe that I found, I'm not sure if recipe is the right word, from an old Tom Pemberton video is a mixture of beets, um, Selco, which is a waste product from the brewery industry. So I'm going to use brewer's grain for that. Uh, meal, which is a grain based uh food addition that they use so i'm going to use grain grist for that um whole crop silage which i don't think they use anymore but we'll put that in and grass silage which obviously if you watched on pemberton you know they do a lot of grass silage um so the first thing we're going to do is go through and delete the ones we don't need you need to get all three of these lines to delete um so the first bit um defines the percentage that you need so a minimum and a maximum and the name that will appear in the mixer window and then the different fill types that you can put in so we're going to delete that one silage is whole crop silage so we'll leave that um, grass windrow so dry grass is all the hay types so we're going to delete that because they don't use hay they don't use straw and um, grass fermented is grass silage so we'll leave that in they don't use horse grass or clover or alfalfa um, one thing you will notice which is another easter egg from the farming agency guys is this group is called soybean but actually doesn't take soybeans at all it takes your grain crops but the canola group which does actually take soybeans and um, grain grist we'll leave in because that's the grain mixture 
they don't feed a mineral or feed pallets or molasses or water so we can defeat all of those uh, they don't feed beet pulp um, they don't feed brewers grain fermented but they do feed brewers grain so we're going to leave that there we'll just change it and they don't feed beets but they don't feed beet shreds they feed sugar beet um, okay so that's where we are as a much cut down list of options for a tmr mix and um, percentages wise this is going off the numbers that they gave in their video they feed about 25 percent whole crop silage um so we're just going to put in a range that covers that so we'll go 20 or sorry 10 to 40 it just gives us a bit of a window for mixing with a bucket grass silage they feed about 37 percent in video so we're actually going to do 30 to 50 um, so that means we've got to put at least 30 percent grass silage in there grain grist which is our alternative for meal they feed about 12 percent so we're going to leave that as 0 to 15 percent um the the selco that they use i don't think is fermented um so we're just going to feed the unfermented version and just we'll just scroll up here to check because i think some of the uh yeah so up here we can if we look in the pigs we can see it's just brewer's grain so we'll copy that just to make sure um paste that in so that's the unfermented brewer's grain that we can buy from the silo um again they feed about 14 percent of that so we'll leave that as it is and then uh, sugar beet they feed about 14 percent as well but they don't feed they do sometimes feed potatoes um but we're just going to set this up as was in that video um so that's pretty much the mix that they use um so we'll save this and we'll reload the game and we'll see what it looks like on our HUD and we'll see if we can mix them up so save close update to archive and then reload the game Right, we're back down at the main cow farm we've got a mixer wagon we've got a front loader we've got a pile of the brewer's grain and um, from the uh buy point we've got some sugar beet we've got some whole crop silage and some grass silage and some grain mix and we're going to try and mix up some tmr based on the uh, recipe that we had so if we jump in the tractor and bring up the f1 menu you can see now rather than the um shopping list of options that we had we've just got the five ingredients that we selected when we set up our own version of the xml um, you can see for the whole crop silage and the grass silage we've got some bars which have a minimum and a maximum and then for the other three because we set the minimum as zero we've just really got a maximum amount that we can put in for those um, i did mention but if you keep wondering why i keep saying you need to close the game to do this if you have the game open it will lock your mods folder and you won't be able to make the edits that we need to make so i uh haven't done the maths which i would normally do for making a tmr mix so we're actually going to start with some bales i think i have a pallet fork over here yep because pallet forks work well as bale forks Obviously, if you're a real farmer, you'd use a bale fork. We'll stick in a couple of bales of grass silage. So the, the ratio that um, Tom Pemberton said they use is um, about double the amount of grass silage to whole crop silage. I don't think they use whole crop silage anymore. I suspect it's just being replaced with grass silage. But what we'll do is we'll stick two bales of grass silage in and then a bale of whole crop silage the bales aren't the same size because the maize plus bales are slightly smaller than the base game ones and the base game silage bale turns into a whole crop silage bale with maize plus let's get hold of that properly but this this is not a demonstration of good driving in farm sim Yeah, we've got a roughly two to one ratio of grass silage and whole crop silage but obviously we've, we've got too much certainly too much grass silage 
So what we'll do is interesting that the uh, HUD is only showing four of the bars, whereas we have five bars. And it's showing it as Brewer's Grain Silage. That's because I didn't rename it in the XML. Um, I'll flash up, hopefully, if I remember, a screen grab in the corner of uh, the fact that highlighting the fact that we didn't rename the uh, the Brewer's Grain Bar. Um, I'm not sure why that's not showing up on the Mini HUD. I know, speaking to the Alien Pool, there are some slight issues with the display of the HUD outside of the mixer for trailed mixers maybe that I will try and check with the alien pool who is currently on a well-deserved holiday um, but is hopefully back before I release this video so we'll just pick up a bit of brewer's grain I won't put it all in I really wish I'd pre-calculated all my mix here I, I think if we put about a thousand liters in You can see because we don't have that shown on the uh, on the mini HUD, it's not showing up. If we go into the tractor, it is showing up, and we're at about 10% of what we've got now is um, the brewer's grain. I guess what that um, what me forgetting to rename it does highlight is that actually the name is is just a name for the bar and it doesn't really matter what you put in there as long as it's a it has to be a, a known fill type for the game you can't just put something random in there um, but it doesn't actually have to be what's in the uh, the allowed fill type because we're not allowed to put brewer's grain silage in there we're just putting brewer's grain so we'll do about a thousand liters of beets as well um, they use fodder beet, which I think is fairly common, certainly in the UK, as a, a different grade of beet to sugar beet. I think it's a slightly lower grade product, and you can see that that has registered on the mini HUD at the bottom. We'll go and empty that out. And then I think what we need to do is put in some grain mix, or the our substitute for the meal that they use in the video and if I remember I'll link the video in the description below and if I say Tom Pemberton's name enough people might actually watch the video and um, so we've got 1500 litres in there as our mix looking in the tractor uh, we need a bit more of something because we've got too much grass silage still and we could probably put more sugar beet in but we're going to put in some of the grain mix and you can do that two ways you can drive your mixer wagon up to the pallet and hit R, or you can take a bucket through the pallet and hit R, and that will fill the bucket up for you. See, we're going to put quite a lot in the bucket because we need to try and correct having too much grass silage in there. And then we're going to have a look at, um, we'll go back to the original version of the xml for cow so we'll leave the tmr as it should be and we're just going to look at changing the feeder bar so what you can feed into the feed trough individually so what you change in the tmr mix will change what you can put in the mixer but not what you can feed to the cows in the four bars in their feed we dump that in so we're in the green now for everything i think So we'll just jump in the tractor and yeah we've got tmr we're in the green with just under 50 percent for the grass silage we could have put some more sugar beet in we could have put a little bit more whole crop silage in have a tmr which is mostly a mixture of whole crop silage and grass silage um then with a few additives in theory that should only really cover the first bar but because it's tmr it covers all of the bars um, so if we hit unload and um, we can see that we're filling up ever so slowly all of the bars we would fill the grass bar but the cows grazed while I was reloading the game so yeah as long as you're making a TMR it will cover four cows all four of the bars 
whether that TMR has ingredients in that cover all four bars or not. Okay, so that's that bit done. The last bit we're going to do is changing the cow's feed that goes into the feed bars um, to something that resembles a, um, I think it's, it's certainly a German product. I'm not sure if it's made in other countries called hay milk. Um, or used to use cheese as well and they are fed no fermented grass products so we're going to save the game because you have to save the game to unlock the mods folder and we're going to jump into the xml again and we're going to have a play with that so we're in the animal food additions xml now and we're going to change this so that it um, takes a combination of grass and hay and mineral to fill all four feed bars so what we're going to do is we're going to delete all of the, may, the fermented products and we're going to move uh, grass hay, dry grass windrow, up to the top bar because we want that to be the majority of their feed. We're then going to delete it from here. And we're going to delete the chopped maize and the beet shreds because we only want them to eat grass type products. And then we're going to delete this row. And we're going to put in the mineral feed, which is I believe that's it. I'm just going to double check that. Bear with me. Yeah, so I just went back to an, an original version of the animal food additions file and took the, the mineral bit from the TMR mix down the bottom that we've obviously changed. So that now has our, our four bars set up. We need to change the product and the eat weights. We obviously don't want them eating that much mineral. So we're going to change those to 10%. Change the product weights to 30%. And we'll do the same for the eat weight. So they're basically eating equal amounts of grass, hay, over or alfalfa hay and grass and then a little bit of mineral if we now save this and close it and we'll uh, update the archive and then we'll reload the game and uh, we'll take a look at what happens okay this is a bit of a uh, post-production edit having shown the video to the alien pool well that's something really important if you're going to be doing Things like we've just done and editing completely the feed groups for an animal type. Um, and that is that if you change something up here very significantly like we've done, you need to make sure that the food mixture matches. Um, so if you've got, for example, we've got silage in our TMR mix down here, but silage doesn't appear in any of the things we can feed our cows. And that will cause your game to crash if you drive into the feed trigger with a trailer of TMR. Um, having had this pointed out to me, I've just tested it and uh, the, uh, the save game that I was using crashed and the game locked up and I had to tap out of the game and close it completely. So what we need to do is update our feed mixture down here to reflect what we have up here. The best way that I think to do that is to make sure that each one of these four ingredients here has an ingredient from one of these lines so what we're going to do is we're going to update the top one with dry grass windrow so that's hay we're going to do the second one dry clover windrow so that's clover hay we're going to do the third one with the mineral feed and the last one we're going to put as grass window, which is just grass. You could play around with the weights here, so they match the weights up here on the uh, eat weight. Doesn't really, if you're feeding, filling the feed bar, it doesn't really matter. If you're not going to be filling the feed bar, I would make that change as well. So in ours, that would be changing that to 0.3, that's 0.3. That to point 0.1 and leaving that one as point 0.3. Um, the change we made for the sheep feed, where we changed it to one bar that just has grass silage, grass, and grass hay, 
that is fine because the sheep feed feeds grass and grass silage both of which are in what we're allowed to feed so we don't need to make any changes for that one um this is coming later in the video where we've made that change but i've been back and tested it and that works fine um it was this one uh the tmr that went wrong um so if you're making significant changes to how you're feeding animals up here make sure that if there is a corresponding cow food down here or horse food so example a power food as well because it's got clover fermented in it and clover fermented isn't an ingredient that wouldn't work so we would probably want to change that to something like dry clover windrow so it's now a mixture of grass and clover hay that means that things will work properly your game won't crash um, i've tested these changes it worked fine um, you don't need to change things down here in what corresponds to being, for example, TMR. If it's TMR, based on all of these ratios, it'll count as TMR here, and it'll feed your animals here. That might be slightly confusing, so you know, if you've watched the video all the way to this point anyway, ask me a question in the comments, and I'll probably help you out if I can. If not, I'll point you at the Most Plus Discord. Um, let's... I'll now try and stitch this back into the video and we're probably now going to get back into the game and we're going to be feeding our cows some hay and clover hay and mineral, probably. Um, hopefully that made sense. So we're back in the game and if we open up the seasons menu you can see our bars have now changed. We have a bar for hay, um, which the cows have got some from what we fed them before. We've got a bar for clover hay or alfalfa hay, a bar for the mineral feed and a bar for grass or clover. I've got a trailer full of clover hay here because I couldn't easily quickly get a clover hay bale. Uh, but if we tip that in, we'll see that that's filling up their clover hay requirement. We've plenty to keep them busy for a little while. We'll grab some hay bales and we'll grab some mineral feed. They actually have got this uh have got this single bag of mineral feed. And you can buy this in small bags, so we'll see if this goes in. Don't know if it will. It did. Uh, yep, so that's registered as a little tiny bit of their mineral feed requirement. And we've got a pallet of it out here, so we'll put that in as well. And we have we have nearly a hundred cows. So There's quite a lot of cows. Um, I have no idea if the amount of mineral that I've put is realistic. You may end up you may find that actually you feed a lot less mineral. It's purely to demonstrate what can be done with uh, the changes to the XML file. A couple of bales of hay. I hope this trigger takes bales. Hey. So you can see our hay bar has grown and then we'll just grab that pellet or pellet pallet. Always get pellet and pallet mixed up. Uh, Grab that pallet of mineral feed and we'll put that in as well and that'll be the end of what i do for this video if you found the video useful um give me a like drop me a comment if you didn't like it leave me a thumbs down if you think there's things i've missed out then uh, please let me know and we can do another video hopefully this just shows you you know it's, it's easy to make these changes Don't be afraid, you can always re-download. Come on. We still have space for mineral feed. Maybe it won't take you. There we go. You just have trouble finding the trigger in here. So that's emptying the pallet of mineral feed. So we now have cows set up so that they have to have mineral feed if you want them to do well. And they live on grass and hay products.
and they'll probably produce some really nice tasty milk yeah so if you enjoyed the video all that stuff that i've just said and uh, i will catch you in the next video if people have ideas for more most plus videos let me know if not please watch my other videos be really appreciated catch you next time